Yo guys, what is going on? Randy Mooper here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video guys, we are going to be working on the docks. Um, something I haven't showed you or told you yet guys. The world that I was working on, the one which I was going to complete, the one which was going to be, you know, one of the, my only Minecraft world that I complete, got corrupted yesterday, no, two days ago. And I totally gave up on the world and I could not get the world back. So there was no point in even trying, so I thought, okay, I've got two choices. I, You know, I can leave Minecraft, just play survival, finish building cities, finish all that kind of stuff, do not build any more cities, or I can give it one more shot and do another city, or, you know, create a world. So I thought, okay, I'm going to give it one more shot, I'm going to do another creative world, guys. So here I am doing this world. Uh, but the only thing, yesterday when I was playing this world, it got also got corrupt because we're having some power issues right now. When you flick one of the switches in the house, the whole power goes. So, in two days, in a matter of two days, two people have decided to flick that switch while I'm playing Minecraft. And obviously the worlds, you know, get corrupt and they lose all their data really and all their save progress. So, luckily... With this world, I did save a another one, but when I saved it, it was only for from this railway line to them cranes. So all this from it was saved, but everything I worked on behind was not saved. So you know, we had a little bit of problems there. So and you know, I talk, nearly gave up again yesterday, and I was like, okay, you know, it's happened twice now. Fate is obviously telling me. You know, you should not build another Minecraft world. But I thought, you know, I saved it. I saved half of it. So I might as well continue building it and keep saving it here and there until, you know, it's complete. Obviously, it's going to happen again soon. I'm going to get corrupted again. But hopefully, this time I will be more prepared and I will have a world saved and, you know, ready to. Well, basically, from where I left off. So every time I exit the hill now I'm like saving it just in case. So yeah, this world guys I've started off instead of just starting off inside a um inside a city building buildings that I've built a million times and you know doing videos for you guys that you've already seen a million times, I thought I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time and start off with a docks something that I have never done on my channel and something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I started building it in my other city but obviously you know it got corrupt and it all lost so I couldn't do it in that city so I'm doing it in this one for you guys and I'm going to show you how to build pretty much everything that you see inside this docks um, including what I'm building now. Obviously it won't be you know the one I'm building now it'll be over a little bit but yeah so I hope you're ready for some dock building guys. I've looked around YouTube, looked and looked and looked. I can only see certain tutorials. Not really the tutorials that I've been looking for because I was looking for some inspiration. So hopefully I can help you guys if you are building a docks or if you're wanting to build one. Um, it's pretty easy and fun actually to build. Yeah, I've had some fun building this so far. Yes, I've been working on it for about two days now. so. I know, I have some experience in building docks for two days, um, but yeah, it's been fun so far, and I'm ready to bring you along into the journey, I'm ready to start up the tutorials and do this with you, so let's do this. So if you didn't know guys, this is going to be a cargo uh, docks, where cargo comes in and out, um, there's going to be a lot of cargo around as well, so lorries, cranes, containers, ships, pretty much every, anything that, you know, has the word cargo in, basically. Um, it's also going to be a half power plant as well, so there's going to be a lot of um, industrial, it's going to be a big massive industrial kind of shipping area, basically. I might add in a dry docks. Sorry guys, I'm a bit sick right now, so I have to sneeze. Um, so, yeah, it's going to contain pretty much anything that does contain have the word cargo in. Um, all this bit here I'm building right now is going to be filled with containers 
and it's also going to have um, lorries coming in ready to be loaded off, also exiting already loaded off. Um, there's going to be a lot of lorries around the place down here, over by the cranes here. We have got some lorries, we've got three lorries. Um, these ones are going to be in the queue ready to be loaded off down by here in a crane around here somewhere. Um, and exiting, we're also going to have the empty lorries. Uh, these are just going to be porting onto a ship that is going to be here. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about what I've built so far. Right there, that was be that was literally a test that kind of failed, but it looks good and I can't be bothered to delete it, so it's just going to stay there. Hopefully it just looks apart once I have things built around it. This one as well is one that I built from a real picture. Um, hopefully that one will look also look good once it's all surrounded. I'm going to have cranes that's going to come probably to say here, uh, all along there. Some bolding, some not. Um, I'm going to have my rail yard, it's going to come all the way to the end down there. Um, then there's going to be kind of like um, a crane taking off what's on the, what the train is pulling. Um, it's going to be freight, so like uh, cargo, metals and stuff like that. And then the train track itself is going to run all the way down here and into a depot kind of thing where they store the engines and stuff like that. Um, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. The road itself is going to go all around the place and the actual, the actual, like, docks itself, if I go over to the map over here, the docks itself is literally going to be, again, okay, here's the crane right there. So the dock is going to go all the way up here, probably till around there. Then the rest, we probably have a pier or something right here, um, and then the rest is going to be a beach. But once I extend the map to a larger map, it's going to take up another square right here. So, you know, it's going to be, the pier is going to run probably around here and stuff like that. And we'll have a couple of ships and all that kind of stuff. Um, a dry dock might go here. I'm not too sure actually yet what is that's going to happen with that bit yet. But, ooh, that just made no sense. But this way, um, this way along from say here it's gonna run to about I'd say about here so it's gonna be a pretty large dock um, you know it's gonna take up probably about that much might even extend it out a little bit so I'm gonna have like industrial bits and stuff like that like down here it's just gonna be you know this whole time I'm be working on this world right now it's gonna be dedicated to the docks so it's gonna be pretty big um, so yeah, I'm bringing you along every, every single part of it. So let's actually get into some buildings, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to carry on extending this and show you how I do this little bit um, right here. So what I use is for the actual floor is cracked stone bricks. Um, I do, so one, two, three, and then I, I put four. And the fourth one then I'll go up. Okay, so the fourth one will be there. Um, let me just fill this little bit in here. Okay, um, then we're going to get some like white wool. No, light grey wool, sorry guys. And that is going to use as a marker on the road. And then we're left with three in the middle which will be where the lorries will be because the lorries are literally free wide so I'm not, you know, that's nothing to worry about this cargo here is free wide all the cargo's um, containers are free wide so everything basically road wise and storage wise is free wide so yeah, it's pretty simple so yeah guys, everything's basically free wide 
Um, it's literally probably the simplest kind of roadworks I've ever actually done. Because normally, you know, it's like four to five to six wide. This one is literally three, so it's simple. Um, then you're going to get some yellow and just mark in there. 